I trained for months. I saw no progress. I learned I was doing bad exercises like seated bench press, you know, where you sit down and you know, you do the machine. Obviously that's not bad, but I was doing on like a Marcy home gym, if you don't know what that is, but it, it pretty much had like zero chest activation. So it kind of all just came down to equipment. But I learned about how to actually grow my chest and I implemented these new studies and my chest gains were massive. My strength and like rocketed, it was insane. And honestly, most of the problem I saw no progress was diet. That's just one thing, obviously diet. Everyone tells you diet, 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 because it's so important. If you're not eating right, you're not gonna be making any gains. Don't do isolation exercises for, for a bench press. So if you don't know what an isolation exercise is, it's where it solely just trains one muscle group. So for example, for the chest, I think it's flies. Um, chest flies, I think that's an isolation exercise. Don't do that. Okay, don't do an isolation exercise for the chest because you can grow multiple exercises in a compound lift. So what I recommend is doing just the two basic exercises, flat bench press and incline bench press. And you know, you're probably saying to yourself, why would I not isolate the muscle I want to grow most? You get the same and more muscle growth from compound exercises. So if you're like, you know, bitching about what I said, you know, a few seconds ago, bro, just listen to me and trust bro. Like every single major like big bodybuilder does bench press. They do bench press for a reason because it's the like best and most fun exercise. And it's literally like the gym bro standard. Like if, if you talk into like a fellow like person who goes to the gym, they're gonna ask you what your bench press max is. So for me, it's 205, 205 bench press. I'm pretty close to end my end of year goal of 225. If you can use a cambered bar. So this is gonna allow you for that little bit of extra stretch. And then also, if you're on an incline, do a cambered bar reverse grip. That's gonna activate your upper chest so much more. And that's the honestly aesthetic part that you're going to want to grow for a um, you know, bigger, better, more aesthetic chest. You're gonna wanna grow your upper chest a little bit more than your lower pecs. You're gonna wanna grow supporting muscle groups. So a supporting muscle group for bench, which would grow your chest, would be your triceps. So, you know, for your triceps, do some like, you know, pushovers, do some pull downs, try and grow your triceps and of course your shoulders. So for your shoulders, do rear, reared up flies, lateral raises, frontal raises. That's what I do for my, um, oh my gosh, or something like that. Uh, um, that's what I do for, you know, the supporting muscle groups. I was able to grow my chest naturally and you can too, if you just listen to the basic advice that I've given you in this video, this is how you're gonna blow up your chest gains massively. So your actual step for this video is to try and implement these exercises into your split. So cambered reverse bench press. And if you can't, just do a reverse grip on a normal barbell or dumbbells. That's kind of hard to do with dumbbells. So if you're doing it with dumbbells, I honestly would recommend either do it like dumbbell incline bench press because you'll get a little bit more range of motion. And then flat bench press, I don't really, I don't see a point in doing reverse bench, just do normal bench, a little bit shoulder to width, and you should be good. If you want to, scroll down and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Um, jo join my uh, co community, it's a free community, Discord. You just join it, and then you can talk to a bunch of like-minded people like um, you know yourself, and then you'll be good, bro. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good rest of your day.